So this has to do with something called the Westfall Act. That is an act that provides that when tort cases, state tort cases are brought against uh, government employees in the executive branch and in the legislative branch, and the tort was allegedly committed in the course of f federal employment, the case can be certified for shifting to the federal courts and the United States can be substituted as the responsible party. Uh, this has become somewhat routine to the extent that the certification process has been delegated to an attorney in the tort section of the civil division of the Justice Department. Uh, the process involves the employing agency, which in the case of a president ha has been the White House, sending in a memorandum requesting certification. That process was followed in this particular case. The case law is crystal clear that the Westfall Act applies to claims against the president, the vice president, as well as other federal employees and members of Congress. There is case law in D.C. Uh, it, it has been invoked uh, by previous presidents, including uh, most recently uh, Bush 43, uh, Vice President Cheney, President Obama, and now President Trump. The case law is very clear, uh, and there's a D.C. Circuit case called Ballinger on the topic uh, that says that uh, because we are a representative democracy, Officials who are elected and answer press questions while they're in office, even if those questions relate to their personal activity uh, and could bear upon their personal fitness, uh, is in fact in the course of federal employment and can be uh, therefore certified uh, under the Westfall Act. This was a normal application of the law. The law is clear. Uh, it is done frequently. Uh, and uh, the little tempest that's going on is, is largely because uh, of the bizarre political environment in which we live and the, uh, you know, the, uh, well, I'll just leave it at that.